Dick Chatterton here with Chad's Tractors. We've got a beautiful day here in Central Illinois, uh, middle of May with the temperature around 70 degrees and not a cloud in the sky and the air just as uh, fresh and crisp as can be and just the kind of day that you'd like to have every day of your life. I want to show you some uh, unusual tractors here today and uh, that's the main thing around the Chatterton place here at Chats Tractors is, is tractors. We have a great love for tractors. Doesn't matter uh, the color necessarily, although we do have, you'll notice there, a lot of farm malls. And as we look around the place here, you'll see another unusual one over there. That's a 340 high crop. We've just uh, about finished uh, restoring. But as we glance back over this way, you'll see some orange tractors. And there's a few Ford tractors around. And we even have some of those green tractors. Yes, there's John Deere's around here. We have several in the shed too, but we have a couple out front we're featuring on sale here. But uh, the three tractors I want to videotape here today are a bit different than the norm. Uh, we call these three of the neatest tractors never made. And you'll see why here in just a moment, but uh, we'll get a little close up of some of them here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. The first tractor uh, we'll look at here is one we've had here on the farm for a number of years. It's uh, probably my f most favorite tractor of all for just an all-around uh, little utility tractor to uh, uh, mow with or to uh, tow things around, work in the hay field, just, just a great little utility tractor. This is actually an Alice Chalmers uh, WD. You'll notice I've made some changes on it, a few things that weren't uh, standard equipment back in 53. Now they, this, uh, I've got the decals on there that say WD-16, which they never made, but that's the decals I put on there because this is kind of an unusual tractor. Uh, Alice Chalmers made the WDs from 1948 through 1953. And in 53, they, about the only change they made on that last year of production was that they put a crooked gear shift lever on them like they come out with on the WD-45 in, in late 53. See it here, uh, the crooked gear shift as opposed to the straight ones that the uh, all the other WDs had. But some other things on this tractor that weren't standard equipment back then, you'll notice the uh, Charlin power steering unit attached there on the steering shaft. And one of the greatest uh, attachments or inventions ever paid for the older tractors. It would have been nice they'd all had that back then, but uh, Charlin started making these somewhere in the 50s and and actually, Alice had their own uh, version of a power steering unit that came out as an option in 1955 on the WD-45. But I've added uh, the, the power steering, and notice it has a factory wide front on it. Front also, I've uh, added a front tow bracket up front. I don't know if you can see that in the sunlight or not, but it's a real handy little bracket uh, with a hole in it so that you can uh, hook a wagon or something onto that hitch and then. Uh, use the tractor by going forward with it to push a wagon into to a shed or whatever. It makes it a lot easier to steer that way and to back it in a building. I uh, also got uh, weights all the way around, two front weights and a single set of rear weights on the back. Also added the flat top fenders off of an old 170 Alice that had been junked out. And those are real handy if you want to sit on the seat and lay your uh, arm out on the, uh, as a rester on the right fender. And I put a little step there to make it easier to look into the gas tank. They didn't have a gas gauge back then. You could step up there and look in to see how much gas is in the tank. This tractor has been converted to 12-volt uh, electric, which makes it a lot easier starting, especially with the uh, high dome pistons in it. And moving on around, you notice I got an umbrella bracket on there, which is real nice. And it's a hot summer day, you can put an umbrella on there and right around the shade, and uh, that sure makes it nice. And then on the back, I've got the uh, tilt seat bracket on it so you can tilt the seat over to get on and off easier and also if you want to stand up while operating it, it makes it easier to do that. The feature I've added is the seat backrest. My dad always complained back when I was young and uh, we'd gotten a new 45 how rough riding it was but if he had that seat backrest on there he wouldn't have complained about that near as much I'm sure because it really does make a difference. And uh, also one of the great features on this tractor, we've added a three point hitch. Uh, Alice had their own snap coupler hitch which worked fine. You can still use that this one that way if you choose, but 
with a three-point hitch adapter on there you can uh, put anything on there you want uh, with three-point hitch and it, that's a good uh, solid adapter kit it has the sway bars on it and uh, it just makes it again that much handier where you can use three-point equipment on it another thing I like uh, about this tractor is it, it has uh, the WDs and the 45s had the hand clutch and the foot clutch which gave you live power live PTO as long as you use the hand clutch uh, a lot of them would uh, grind gears when you went to go from a forward gear to the reverse but this tractor is smooth in any one of the gears you can go if you're mowing back into a corner or something without grinding gears and keep the power takeoff going by using the hand clutch and I'm going to start it up and show you how easy that thing shifts That's it. Shift on the go almost as long as you uh, use your brake and stop completely. <laughs> that That is the easiest shift in uh, Old Alice we've ever had. It's a very nice tractor and we've had some other WD-45s here on the farm and, and uh, we have I think one or two left for sale right now. The next tractor we want to show here, one of the nicest never made. Uh, happens to be a 1954 Farmall Super H with a TA and uh, IH never did produce this model but it had plans to do so according to the records that we found uh, in fact a number of prototypes were supposedly made uh, but no record was ever kept of what happened to those prototypes this one uh, we've had here on our in our collection for some time and it has the original six volt electrical system uh, lights has a live hydraulic the live PTO and it's a very nice, uh, straight, clean, smooth running tractor. And uh, I'll get a few close-ups of it here so you can see it a little bit better. Notice the uh, TA lever there got a high low range on each of the five forward gears and then of course two reverse gears there again I don't know uh, how the sunlight's showing on these tractors it's pretty bright out here today but I'll try to get you as good a shot as I can here of this tractor got the live hydraulic pump there behind the uh, distributor and the reservoir with the hydraulic control lever attached and here on the back uh, you notice the uh, live PTO lever so you can turn your power take off and on and off anytime you like I'll go start it up and uh, show you how the torque works Well, there you have another tractor, uh, one of the nicest never made, a 1954 Super H with the TA. Well, here's one you'll probably never see, it's the only one I've ever seen. It's a Super V with a TA, torque amplifier. Uh, 
International made the Super A, made the Super C, Super O, Super M, Super MTA. Never did make a Super B. And I always thought they should have. But uh, for some reason they didn't make the B in a Super Series. Now this tractor is actually an old H that was uh, had a bug bad motor and it was cut down by an old gentleman in Illinois. And we just happened to see it set along the highway one day and uh, thought that was the neatest little tractor we'd ever seen. So we ended up buying it and uh, painted it up. It uh, actually has the uh, frame and tin work shortened up on it as you can see. And the motor is a 1939 single cylinder. Uh, nine horsepower Wisconsin engine in it. It's got a gear reduction so it's geared way down real slow. Uh, it still uses the H rear end and the five speed transmission and uh, right there on this side you'll notice a little lever there in front of the clutch pedal. It does have a high low uh, range in it but it's not hooked up to the TA lever. Uh, it goes so slow anyway that it wouldn't do much good to hook that thing up and go any slower. It'll run about uh, zero mile an hour in first gear and about three mile an hour wide open in fifth gear so it is geared way down the thing will really pull a load wherever you want to hook on to pull it but it's just uh, and you'll notice up front the uh, radiator is now out of the gas tank up there it holds about a gallon of gas and it'll run all day long on a tank of gas great little parading tractor uh, We've had a lot of comments on it, people looking at it, wondering what in the world that thing is. I, I put the upright uh, muffler on it, which kind of makes it stand out. Ordered the uh, decals for it, had them made up. And it does have the lights on it yet, although they're not uh, hooked up. Uh, it is electric start, got a 12 volt battery. The charging system does work on it. It has a working uh, power takeoff shaft, you can turn the power takeoff on and off and uh, has a regular hitch on the back just a neat little uh, conversation piece but uh, starts and runs great I'll crank it up here so you can hear it run